Reverend Paul Hinkle came to Newmarket in 1790 to begin the Lutheran Church there. He had been commissioned by Lutheran officials in Philadelphia to start new Lutheran churches from Winchester, Virginia, all the way down to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Paul Hinkle would have nine children, six sons, and three daughters. Of the six sons, five became Lutheran pastors, but the oldest son, Solomon, would become a physician. Father Paul took Solomon to Philadelphia to apprentice with a doctor there at the unfortunate time when Philadelphia was experiencing the yellow fever epidemic. The physician left the teenage boy alone and left Philadelphia, and young Solomon had to become doctor and physician and druggist immediately. Solomon would eventually return to the valley and go with his family to Stanton where he would study with physicians there and then return to Newmarket to open up his own practice. Solomon Hinkle became one of the leaders of Newmarket because he was the first mayor, the first banker, the first postmaster, the first physician, the first druggist, and was respected by many, many people. He himself would have 11 children and of his eight sons, several would become physicians. Samuel Godfrey Hinkle was his son and became a physician. Cylon Amos Hinkle, Solon Paul Charles Hinkle would all become physicians. And the fourth son, Siren Peter Hinkle, would study to become a physician but would return home after an unsuccessful time in Philadelphia at the School of Medicine practicing to be a physician. He fainted during surgery and so he came home and pursued becoming a miller a farmer, and a successful businessman. Solomon Hinkle's son, Samuel Godfrey Hinkle, would also have many children and would have three sons who would become physicians. One of Samuel Godfrey Hinkle's sons is Caspar Corner Hinkle, the man whose letters you see in this exhibit. When I was asked to comment on the letters that you see in this exhibit, it made me think about how we communicate with family members today. Many of us communicate with Twitter or Facebook in here in the 21st century. And in the 20th century, many of us use that new device called the telephone to talk to family members. But in the 19th century, the way we corresponded with family members, if we were not speaking to them in person, was by letter. And this family was highly educated and they could read and write, and so there are many letters between them. There are a lot of letters between Ellen and her brother, Casper Corner, and you can say that they had a very special brother-sister relationship. But in the letters, there is also information about current day events, what's happening, and there are many, many different references to cousins because the family was quite large. Elsie Newcomer and Janet Reynolds have helped us understand the family relationships in their books that they are publishing, which juxtapose the letters of Casper Corner Hinkle with the day journal of Siren P. Hinkle, their ancestor, and clippings from the Richmond Times newspaper. So if you want to know who was Liege Corner, you might not know that as a researcher just looking through, but if you have the Reynolds and Ramsey book, you will find out that this is a cousin and which family he belonged to. So their annotation of the names that are listed in the letters is quite significant. Many people today know the Hinkle name because of its association with the Hinkle Press. That is another part of the family story which we will not go into in great detail today, but let me just say this to you. If you were a Hinkle living in the early 19th century in the town of Newmarket, you probably were first a preacher, second, a physician, or third, a printer. The printing press was started by Ambrose Hinkle, brother of Dr. Solomon Hinkle. As Father Paul had once taken Solomon to Philadelphia to apprentice, he took the young Ambrose to Hagerstown to apprentice with a man named Herr Gruber. Ambrose would come back to Newmarket in 1806 and either bring with him the printing press or build a printing press. The family has different stories. And so they would start then publishing a weekly newspaper, an instructor in German, for folks to read. But more important, the printing press printed the works of Martin Luther in English 
and the Lutheran Concords in English. So the legacy of the printing press, even though we have the descendant of that early newspaper in today's Shenandoah Valley Herald, more important than the newspaper was the printings that the Hinkle family did of the Lutheran Concords and other Lutheran documents. Caspar Corner Hinkle, whose letters you see in the exhibit, was active during the Civil War period. He started out as a low-level surgeon, but he spent most of his time in the 3rd Brigade of Stonewall Jackson's division, and that is what he's remembered for. He was engaged in all 29 battles of the Army of Northern Virginia and survived. On his tombstone, what he chose to have written was his Civil War activity. After the Civil War was over, he came back to Newmarket and became a very well-respected physician in the state of Virginia. If you go to Newmarket today and you see the Jalisco restaurant, that was where his office was. He was known to have, in the back of his office, a small museum displaying Indian artifacts from the Shenandoah County area. He also had a skeleton there for all people to see. So I'm sure he was somewhat of an eccentric, somewhat of a an educator, and certainly had a sense of humor. Right across the street from Jalisco Restaurant, you will see a tall brick building built in approximately 1882 that was the home of Casper Corner Hinkle, sometimes referred to as the C.C. Hinkle House. As we said earlier, the Hinkles have been a prominent family in Newmarket since 1790. And one figure we don't want to forget about is Solomon Hinkle. In his will, he described the buildings that were there in the Hinkle compound. There was a book bindery, there was a printing press, there was a warehouse, there was an apothecary, there was also a surgery. Sometimes we're not sure if surgery meant like an operating room or if it meant a physician's office. But all these things are listed in Solomon Hinkle's will. Today, if you visit Newmarket, you will have the opportunity to visit the old apothecary if you find me first, because I will be happy to take you there and I'm a, I have the Newmarket walking tours. I've been delighted to tell you a little bit about the family of the Hinkles, of which this set of letters is a small slice during the Civil War period of a very interesting man, Casper Corner Hinkle, who lived and breathed, who was something other than just an obituary report, who had many, many sisters and who had great friendships and was close to lots of folks. So thank you very much for the time spent today learning a little bit about Casper Corner Hinkle.